let's say day guys and peace be upon this man so in this video we're going to learn how to configure voice over ip dial peering so what does that this mean well dial peering is kind of a routing for voice over ip for example when we want to call from a separate site let's say this site has a, a line number of uh, let's say extension or like an uh, extension like uh, 1000 that way or 1001 any of the access i mean any of the voice over ip phones has this line number and it wants to call uh, another phone that is located far away and it has a line number of that one okay well when we want to call from one format to another remember this site has this format okay let's say 1001 102 1002 etc etc and this site has this format 2001 2002 etc etc so for us to call from those sites with different formats in terms of line numbers then we have to configure what's called dial peering all right so the first step i mean configuring dial peering for voip so the first step is always to do the necessary topology decorate and comment so i'm trying to use a scenario whereby we have one site site a is far away from site b and they connect via an isp okay and you know we have a full network both data and voice filler so we have our computers on this side computers on the other side we want all the ip phones to be calling the ip phones on site b all the pcs all the computers to be pinging all the computers on the other side so what do we do very very simple so the first thing we do we 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 embark on device create i mean sorry we do what's called device selection okay and uh, for the selection of devices it's very very important to select the right devices okay all right so uh, basically for the router make make sure you choose 2811 router the voice gateway because if you don't use this one for packet teaser it will not work okay just make make sure you choose 2811 router 2960 switch is okay standard switch then when coming to ip phones just choose 7960 ip phone okay all right so the thing that the second thing that we do now let's turn uh, these ip phones up you can you can see they are still they don't have power adapters so we just do it very very fast just drag it and insert there all right so that's done that's done so uh, our topology is complete and you can see the data villain villain 10 the network is this one voice villain 11 the network is this one on the other side data villain villain 30 this network and um voice villain this one this network okay all right so without any further ado let's just go back to our notepad to proceed configure switch ports for both data and voice fillers guys being that we have both data and voice fill and then the switches should each access port should be having both data and voice fillers so for example this is fa resource 2 fa resource 3 okay so we just go here we just go there and say enable uh, config t so interface range f a 0 slash 2 to 3 okay sorry to 3 switch port mode mode access okay then switch port oh sorry before that before that we need to create the villains okay remember we have how many villains two villains on this side 10 and 11 so just say villain 10 villain 10 name uh data exit uh villain uh 11 name uh voice make make, make sure uh, the the namings are in caps i mean the names but i can see i made a error here so i just I can just go to villain 10 and say it's data yes exit do show villain you can see 10 and 11 okay all right so we can just go back to those interfaces interface range now aha uh -huh. fa0 2 to 3 switchboard mode access 
then switch port access a VLAN 10 for data okay then switch port voice VLAN 11 for voice VLAN okay exit and do right and let's not forget because uh, the notepad said that configure trunk on the interface connecting the router so we need to configure this interface you see here fs resource one as trunk okay so just go here and configure it as trunk okay that's done so we do the same for this side also remember we need to create how many villains here two villains villain 30 for data and 31 for voice and uh, assign these two ports this one and this one both the both the VLANs okay and this port will be trunk so I'll do it very very fast to save time because I have demonstrated on this side and do that so we're done with the first phase which was to uh, configure switch ports for both data and voice VLANs and enabling trunk so we go to uh, each router the two routers and configure sub interfaces for the VLANs for the inter VLANs okay because we have two VLANs data and voice so uh, what we do we just go to this router and this router and do the same so I just click here and you see this interface is FA0-1 it's uh, uh, FA0-1 on this side and also I face the slash one on the other side. So when I click on this router, I would be create sub interfaces. It's very very simple. So uh, what to do? We just uh, just say no. Just say no. Okay. Then enable uh, config T. Then how do you create sub interface? Remember this interface is still down. So it's interface I face the slash one. Okay. Then just say no shut exit now it's up now let's create sub interface for how many villains for two villains villain 10 and villain 11 so how do you create a sub interface just say interface the phase one dot 10 for villain 10 okay then we bind it to that villain encapsulation dot one q 10 okay then we send it IP address as per this network we just say ip add uh, 10 dot 10.10.1 with the separate mask of 255.255.255.0 exit that's done that's done then we create a sub interface for voice so encapsulation dot i mean interface uh fa resource one dot 11 now because you can see the voice villain is villain 11 then encapsulation dot one q 11 representing this number okay then you send it IP address just say ip add be 192.168.90.90.1255.255.255.0 exit and do right good so what to do we do the same for this site okay so i'll do it very very fast this time because i've demonstrated on this side all right All right, so we've done that. We've also done the same on this side. So that's done, configuring sub interfaces, binding them to VLAN IDs, and sending them IP addresses. So good. So uh, the, the fifth step is to create DCP pools for data and voice VLAN. So we go to this router and this one to create DCP pools for data and voice VLAN. So we start with the DCP pool for data. So just go there, I've clicked it, then say service DCP to enable that service. Okay. All right. So let's create pool IP DCP, DCP pool, then call it voice. Okay. That's it. Enter. Then the, you, you specify the network. The network for voice, you can see it's 192.168.90.0. We'll have a mask of 255.255.255. .255 .255 .255 zero and it then the default router the default router should be this the IP address of the sub interface that represented uh the voice villain it was 90.1 okay so just say 102.168.90.1 okay then for the case of um 
for the case of voice VLAN, there's all additional command that's always called option 150. Option 150 is used for voice over IP functionality. Okay, then you just say IP address to represent the default router 192.168.10. I mean, sorry, dot 90 dot one. Good exit. Then let's get another pool for data now. Okay, so another pool for data will be IP DCP pool data. Just go say data. Okay, all right. Then the network to be network to be 10.10.10.0. Service mask for 255.255.255.0. Okay, then the default router will be the appearance of the sub interface that you created initially that represented the voice, I mean the data villain good so it's uh, it was uh 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot uh, one good exit and do right all right so we do the same on this side so i did very very fast save time okay so that's done so we can just go back here to check if the devices have picked ip addresses automatically because we've configured the dscp servers because if i try to hover these uh, ip funds you can see they've picked ip addresses even the computers you can see they've picked ip addresses on this side okay so when you go back to our notepad uh you can see we can we are being told to configure telephony service okay all right so how do we configure telephone service so i'll do it very very fast save time so i'll just go on this router and uh just say enable uh config t then i minimize it to demonstrate so that you can see all right so to configure telephone service just say telephony service then maximum number of uh ephones that we want we want let's say in this in on on set a we want only uh, 10 IP phones, okay. Then maximum number of directory numbers should match the number of E phones, okay. Just say 10, okay. Then just say source, uh -huh, IP source, IP source to match the P address of the sub interface for voice uh, data, okay. It was 10, uh, sorry, the sub interface had IP address of 12.168.90.1, okay. Uh, good. Then you just say port. Port, uh, port 2000 for data okay for voice villain okay all right good then after this one you just say auto send auto assign auto assign from number one to ten because we have how many ip phones ten good all right so after this one what we can just do we just allocate e phones the line number so in this side we want to allocate e phones line numbers of like uh uh 1001 1002 so just say e phone e phone dn directory number one okay then to have a line number of just say number number 1001 sorry number to be 1001 exit then line number two after uh e phone directory number two to have a line number like uh, that one okay exit and do right so I'll do the same on this side. We configure telephony service on this side and allocate IP phones dial numbers. Okay. All right. So. All right. So after doing that, guys, there's another step that I didn't include here, uh, which is all about OSPF. So 7.1 routing protocol to use OSPF. good so guys you can see we have several routers so for packets or traffic to move from this point to this point then there should be routing protocol to enable that okay so let's use OSPF. so i'm going to configure this interface this one and this one and this one okay so for example this one i'm going to configure 202022 20, 20, this one is 202021 this one is 3031 30, and 303032 30, Slash so 30. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do it very, very fast time because I believe you know how to configure IP addresses. Okay. All right. So we've done configuring 
IP address to the interfaces. So let's do uh, OSPF. So we're going to uh, we're going to advertise the directly connected network. So for example, on this router, we're going to advertise how many networks? Three. This network, this network, and this network. On this router, this network, this network, and this network. For but for ISP router, we're going to ad advertise how many networks? Only this one and this one. So just go to uh, the router here and configure OSPF. So uh, what I'm going to do, so we do it very, very fast if time, guys, because uh, we have limited time here. So uh, we just say, uh -huh, exit router, router OSPF with the process ID of, uh, let's use uh, 30. Okay. Then the router ID to be, router ID to be, Let's say 3.3.3.1. Okay. And we are want to advertise how many networks? 20.20.20.0.0.0.0.3. Area 0. And another network is uh, 1.2.168.90.0.0.0.0.255. Area 0. And finally, another network is. Uh, huh, 10.10.10.0.255.255.255.0 area 0 do right so I go to all other phones all other routers and configure OSPF very very fast of time start with this one advertise this one and this one also only Okay, so we've done configuring SPF, and uh, I believe the neighbors have been formed, and uh, you can see uh, this router here has formed how many neighbors? Two neighbors. All right. So after configuring OSPF, then we should be able to communicate from this side to this side. So let's start with the computers first. So I'll just try to move over this one. You can see that it has picked ten dot twenty. Dot ten dot two. So I'm just going to ping. Aha, uh -huh, just going to ping ten on this point ten dot twenty dot ten dot two, and you eat ops. Just try to ping. Yes, and we wait. If it pings, then it's fine. Then we try to uh, call using IP phone. That, okay, so there's a communication. So now let's try to call this IP phone to this IP phone. Remember this. Is this is, you can see the dial number just read the line number it's one uh one zero zero two this one is one zero zero two the line number under gateway then this one you can see it's one zero zero one okay so let, let's start ping for, uh, i mean call from one zero zero one to one zero zero two first before we call outside okay all right so we just go to gu high here and try to call one zero zero two and call you can see it's calling and if you can just come to 1002 then to gui you can see it's from 001 you can pick up and disconnect okay all right so let's try to ping from 1001 to this side this side you can see it has a line number of 2002 and this one is 2001 so let's try to call ping i mean call 2001 you see unknown number because the default gateway here doesn't know how to reach this site so that's why we have to configure dial pairing so how do we configure dial pairing we're going to configure dial pairing here and here so i start with this router which is site a router and we configure dial pairing so dial pairing we only configure for uh gateway routers okay voice gateway okay config t all right so how do you configure a uh, dial peer? We just say dial peer, dial peer, okay? Dial peer, then we give it a number. Let's say number one, okay? Number one for VoIP, for voice of IP. VoIP, that's all. And just hit enter. Oh, sorry. Dial peer, oh, dial peer voice for voice. Then number one for VoIP. We just say that, then you hit enter. Then here, now... You give the destination pattern okay so the pattern of uh, of uh, 
of destination is 2000 so here you just say destination pattern destination pattern to be two dot 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 so this one represents a value from two zero 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 uh, to 2999 okay all right and just you need to enter then here now we just say session session uh session target session target target then to be ipv4 we are using ipv4 okay or just create colon and write and write the default gateway of voice villain on this side so the voice villain on this side has a default gateway of 192 168 101 so that's what you write here 192.168.100.1 very simple exit and do right that's all about voice over ip enter the peer voice give it a number from one then specifically there is a vo voice over ip then give the destination pattern so the destination line number start from 2001 so it can be 2001 2001 to or 2999 okay that's why you can see me writing two dot 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 okay all right so let's go to the other uh router and try to uh, configure the whole peer so also in this side exit and do that so guys a moment we will go back here a moment we'll go back to this phone here you see ah enter sorry a moment we go back to this phone here and try now to call any phone on this side so let's let's just try and one see it's now calling because we've configured dial peering so i'll just go to that phone you can see it's here you can see all right so dial peering basically is working so you can see here that from 101 to 201 this one is 2001 from 11 and you just can just pick and you see it's now connected you hang up and try to call 1001 and call you see it's calling and you pick now connected so guys basically so i believe this video has really helped you now to configure gel pairing uh for ip phones so what i just do i'll mark i'll mark that section as done so when we meet next let's start with firewall configuration please subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends and let's see you again in the next class bye and thank you so much